Assalamu alaikum students. Today our topic is climate of Pakistan. Before starting and understanding the climate of Pakistan, we need to know what is climate. Climate and weather, these two terms are both used for atmospheric condition. They are both the conditions of atmosphere, but there is a slight difference in them. Climate is the atmospheric condition which stays for longer period of time and then change. And weather is the atmospheric condition which change after a shorter period of time. As we know that atmospheric condition or atmosphere itself is made of some elements. It is made of temperature, rain, air pressure, wind speed and moisture in the air etc. These things are making the air or atmosphere when these all these things remain uh, same for some time for example for a day or for a week and then they change so it is a short period this short period of change in atmospheric condition is called weather in the same way if these elements or condition of atmosphere for example temperature rain air pressure, wind speed and moisture in the air. If they change after longer periods of time, which means they remain and stays for longer period of time, then they change, then it is called climate. So climate is actually atmospheric condition, which is for longer periods of time. Now, climate of Pakistan. You must know that climate, climate of Pakistan is hot and dry. Pakistan is a big country, so the climate of different areas is not same. For example, during summer season, the weather in plain areas means flat lands or low lands are hot. But the weather in areas located at high altitude means at a heighted areas are quite pleasant. It means that in the summer season, we have noticed that in Pakistan, some areas, the season, uh, the atmosphere is cold and in some areas, in the same season, summer, they are hot. Why is that? Why is the temperature not the same in the whole country? There are some factors and causes causing them, which we will discuss on the next page. But during certain, uh, certain seasons, the weather change due to seasonal winds. Now, let's discuss seasonal winds. As you know, season are patterns in weather during a specific part of the year. And they change the weather. It is not changing the climate overall because climate is the state of atmosphere which stays for years. And these seasonal winds only change the weather for at a specific time period. Now let's see what are they. During summer, the winds blow from sea to land and in winters, it blows from land to sea. Since these winds are blowing due to change in the season, so they are called a seasonal winds. Look at the two images given on this page. Let's discuss the left image first. In the left image, you can see the red arrows are showing you the direction of winds. They are the winds that blow and enters in Pakistan during summer season. And as you can see, they are coming from the direction of the sea. So they bring a lot of moisture and they causes rainfall, which is a seasonal change for a certain time period. They change the weather for us. Now look at the next image on the right side. As you can see, the arrows are coming from the land towards the sea. So obviously, they do not carry a lot of water vapors as they are blowing from the land side towards the direction of the sea. They are the winds which blows or enters Pakistan in the winter season. So they do not carry as much water vapors as the seasonal winds of summer. It both the winds uh, or seasonal winds, they are changing the weather of Pakistan for certain time. 
now we are going to discuss the factors for difference in climate which means what are the causes because of which certain places have cold climate and some places have hot climate the first one we are going to discuss is distance from equator the distance from equator affects the climate of a place at the poles energy from the sun reaches the earth's surface at lower angles and passes through a thicker layer of atmosphere than at the equator this means the climate is cooler further from the equator look at the image uh, given above uh, with the uh, passage the you can see the globe means the model of earth in this globe you can see a black line in the middle of the earth this is equator which is dividing the earth into northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere this equator line or this location whichever country is located here they are hot places because as you can see they receive more heat from the sun in this example you have been given two names a and b let's take it as countries for example a is one country and b b is another country so the country a it is located on the equator so it means it will receive more heat from the sun or from uh, more solar energy from the sun so these places will be hot as we proceed northward you can find another country which is named as b so b country is far away from the equator it means it is far and it is receiving less heat from the sun or less solar energy so these places will be cooler so it proves that the countries located near the equator are cold or cooler um, sorry hotter and as we proceed toward the north they will become cooler so the location of a place matters a lot but countries located near the equator will be considered as hot their climate for the longer time will remain as hotter and the countries located uh, near the north pole or south pole as they are far away from the equator so they will be uh, have a climate uh, cooler than the rest of the countries next thing which can change the climate of a place is height above the sea now look at the second paragraph second passage as you increase in elevation elevation means height there is less air above you thus the pressure decreases as the pressure decreases air molecules spread out further that is air expands and the temperature decreases now let's understand this passage with the help of the second image in the middle look at the picture you can see the blue color water this is sea and the surface of the sea is named as sea level so when we look at the surface of the sea if a place is located near the sea level it will be hotter because these areas will be considered plain areas as we uh, see that the different in ground levels will cause the temperature or the climate to be Uh, cooler which uh, which means that if a place is located high above the sea level or on a heighted areas their climate will be cold the reason for that is that on low lands or plain lands we have high air pressure means more molecules of air so the more the molecules are they will receive more heat from the sun and as we uh, go further uh, on heighted areas there you will see that the air pressure uh, uh, decreases the decrease air pressure means the molecules will be lesser as compared to plain areas so the lesser the molecule of air are the lesser heat they will absorb so they absorb less heat from the sun that is why the heighted areas are cold next thing which affect the climate of a place is again its location but location means its distance from the sea the sea affects the climate of a place coastal areas are cooler and wetter than inland areas means the areas on land clouds form when uh, warm air from inland areas meets cool air from the sea now uh, let's look at the image and understand this passage in this third picture below you can see that on the blue color 
mention uh, is showing you the sea and the brown color is showing you the land uh, this on sea you will find the air to be cool because there are water vapors available there and when the wind blow it gives you a pleasant effect or a cool effect on the ground because there is less moisture or sometimes no moisture so the air is above the ground is hot when the both uh, the air warm air meets the cool air they are mixed together so the cool air makes the warmer air um, a bit uh, less warmer and it becomes cooler so it means that the cool air of the sea is affecting the warm air of the land which decreases the intensity of heat there now we are discussing cyclone cyclone is another uh, factor or cause which can change the climate cyclone refers to any low pressure area with winds spiraling inwards cyclones rotate clockwise in the southern hemisphere and anti clockwise in the northern hemisphere cyclones are also referred to as hurricanes and typhoons this passage it means that when the wind starts moving in circular form it is called cyclone and the reason for that is when the air is heated it rises up leaving low air pressure behind so to fill up that space hot air full of moisture from the surroundings comes and enters that area and because of more space the fast blowing air starts circulating in uh, in circular motion uh, which is called cyclone now cyclones can also cause rainfall which is discussed in the second paragraph look at the image and uh, listen to the paragraph cyclonic or frontal rain occurs when two air masses meet and form a front the warmer moisture laden air rises over the colder air as a warm front as the air rises it cools and its relative humidity increases clouds form as water vapor condenses and then fall as rain if you look at the image it explains how the cyclones cause frontal rain frontal means a layer of air separating two different air masses and how they causes rainfall look at the image and try to understand it number 1 is an area of warm air meets an area of cold air then the warm air is forced over the cold air after that where the air meets the warm air is cooled and water vapors condenses then clouds are formed and precipitation occur which causes rainfall so that is another reason how cyclones a kind of spiraling winds can afterwards causes rainfall and can change the climate